All right. So before we start with the afternoon session, uh, well, so I'm going to introduce myself again. I'm Yves Meyer, um, <laughs> and I'm going to well, actually I'm going to impersonate Yves Meyer, who unfortunately cannot be here in person with us, but he was really he really wanted to be part of this celebration. So he sent me a, a, a small present, a small message that I want to share. I'm going to read it in behalf of Yves. Okay. So it's three days at Eckhart Hall by Yves Meyer. So Eckhart Hall is, is in University of Chicago. So in November 86, I was invited to give a talk at the University of Chicago. And it was at the time when Stefan was writing his PhD at the Department of Computer Science in uh, Penn, uh, University of Pennsylvania. Stefan was very eager to talk with me, and of course, Stefan, you can then give your version. I hope that everything aligns. Uh, Stefan was eager to talk with me, and we met at Eckhart Hall, Eckhart Hall. So Stefan was there with very breaking and important news. So he had discovered that signal and image processing with an orthonormal wavelets is identical, in fact, the same thing as signal or image processing with quadrature mirror filters. So these filters came from the community of um, electrical engineering and were already being studied in uh, some previous works. Stefan was 24 years old when he really made this uh, important bridge between mathematics and electrical engineering. <coughs> and so we had three days of intense and joyful work in Professor Zygmunt's office. Okay. So Zygmunt was still alive, but he let us freely use his office. <laughs> I cannot imagine these uh, three days. <laughs> <laughs> so my only contribution, this again from Eve, is to this discussion was to warn Stefan that the iterative procedure yielding wavelets could diverge when applied to some bad quadrature mirror filters. I was unable to characterize the good quadrature mirror filters that yield smooth wavelets, but this was understood a few years by Albert Coyne, who is here in the room, and Ingrid Dobeshi, a few years later. <coughs> On February 87, Ingrid achieved her splendid construction of orthonormal bases of complex supported wavelets. OK, and then the last anecdote is, as if you're up in Chicago, that Chicago has a, a fantastic art institute. So Eve was uh, urging Stefan that he should visit the art institute, but we never had the time. <laughs> so. Thanks, Stefan, for these three extraordinary days. And uh, well, I guess we can also thank Yves Meyer uh, remotely for these very nice words. Because, you know, you arrive as a young student and you see this person who is an amazing mathematician. I was one out of 300 in this course in Polytechnique, and he was the absolute. And then you arrive, and the guy takes you seriously. Not only that, but he was incredibly welcoming, accepting completely different ideas. And that's what made me wanting to do research. And so sometimes you meet people like that, who have this generosity, who gives you that, and as you go with it, that's your work. I mean, the proof, he had all the techniques. I mean, I was coming out and not really, uh, I was doing electrical engineering with this other incredible person who is Roger Nabaiji. But <coughs> I think that's one of the very wonderful thing we have in, the, in this field. I met a number of people like that, Alex Grossman, uh, Yves Meyer. And I think that's the tradition uh, we need to keep. And I feel incredibly lucky to have met people uh, like you. <laughs>